We know it's surprising, but there are 10 daily nighttime habits that frugal people tend to have in common and they all help them save money. Hi, I'm Hope. And I'm Larry. From Under the Median. Every week on this channel, we talk about practical frugality, and that knows no bounds, because today we are talking about habits that you may want to pick up every evening before you hit the hay for the night, and these are going to help you in your efforts to maximize your savings. All right, the first thing that frugal people do every day without fail is... They track expenses. That's right. We really like to know exactly the uh, state of our finances, how much money is available in each of the budget categories, and most importantly, like what we spent that day. We like to review that before we go to bed so that we go to bed knowing, all right, we made the best use of our day and of our money possible. Mm -hmm. Now, the next thing that they do is, now this is especially true if you're working a day job, mm -hmm. you wanna make sure that you've prepped your lunches for the next day. Why is that important, Hope? Well, it's important because it takes away that whole question there's you don't leave the door in the morning with a question mark in your mind of oh am i gonna go out for lunch today because you know <laughs> before you go to bed that night you've got it packed you've got ready to grab from the counter or from the refrigerator on your way out the door and you know that lunch is taken care of and you have a frugal lunch all packed and ready to go so it takes away that temptation Mm -hmm. of going out with your friends and co-workers for that afternoon lunch break. Or it might keep them from robbing the snack machine. Oh, my gosh, that's, you know what? That is a great thing to point out because that is another huge temptation. You get that mid-afternoon kind of hungry thing, yeah. like at 2.30 in the afternoon, yeah. and all of a sudden paying 75 or 80 cents for that bag of M&Ms, that little bitty tiny thing, doesn't seem so bad. <laughs> but if you need a snack, plan for that ahead of time too, and you'll spend a lot less money. The third thing that frugal people tend to do every night before we go to bed is we tend to make sure that we read something useful. Now, there are actually a couple of reasons for this. One of the reasons is the fact that we really like to gain new information. Mm -hmm. uh, when Larry and I had been married about two months, some of you know our story, I, I opened the... Um, the bank statement when it came in the mail and found out that we were like flat broke <laughs> and we hadn't been married very long. Not too long. And, uh, and so that was sort of like the immediate impetuous that caused me to think, hmm, you know, I think I better figure this budgeting thing out. So immediately I delved into every bit of research that I could get and there was always a book in my hand. And I went through that stack of books on the library shelf in that self-help section that had to do with managing fi personal finance. I went through almost every single one of those books, one at a time, and read them all. So there was always some new aspect of frugality that I was interested in. So I think frugal people tend to really be wanting more information. Well, and then it's true, too, that 85% of millionaires read at least two books a month. So how many books you're reading? Tell us in the comments section. We love, love, love reading material. So the other thing is, if you are like, let's say you're tired at the end of the day and you're vegging out on Netflix, not that I would ever do that, but <laughs> perhaps I do a little more often than I should, um, then, then you've got that light from the computer in front of your eyes and that light actually bothers your eyes more than you think it does. Um, it will not set you up for sleep. It will set you up for a wake cycle. But it does. if it does. you that read, light. it's the yep. light. The light from your computer yep. screen tells your brain, "Oh, daylight, daytime, time to wake up." Yeah. But if you will read, it actually helps kind of settle your body into that rhythm and gets it ready for sleep. Absolutely true. It's scientific. It's science, guys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh yeah. And you know, if you spend some time before you go to bed, just being thankful. Be thankful yeah. for what you have. That tends to make you more content. And then you're not looking for things to buy. You're content with what you have. There's a certain blessing in contentment. All right. The next thing that frugal people tend to do is we <laughs> tend to brush our teeth. 
Yeah. I know that sounds a little like, like really? No, frugal people brush their teeth because they understand the importance of that old saying, Ben Franklin, thank you for all these amazing things that you gave us to say. <laughs> but an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure and frugal people tend to know that. But they, yeah. they usually got that toothpaste on sale. I'm just saying. <laughs> so, so the idea of brushing their teeth is to take care of them. So, Absolutely. so they don't have to spend a lot of money on your teeth. Yeah, that's a good idea. It really is. Okay, frugal people also tend to wash their face before they go to bed. Wow. I know I got to say, I don't do that. I, I don't wash my face before going to bed. I might take a shower mm -hmm. before going to bed, but I don't. I don't necessarily wash my face. So, I have, what's the advantage of washing your face? Before the going advantage to bed? of washing your face is you wash off the grime of the day, and it allows it allows your pores to breathe during the night. Oh, and and it it just it makes your face clean so that you can rest better without dirt and grime on your face because that will tend to clog your pores. So the You'll idea is you you yeah. kind of feel fresh, refreshed when you go to bed. So you yeah. know. You'll, you'll sleep better. I get that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. The next thing that frugal people tend to do, this won't surprise you. Larry, go ahead. What they regulate doing? their thermostat. You know, at, at night, you don't need as much cooling in your house or you don't need as much heating. So you can mm -hmm. adjust your thermostat to save you some money while you're sleeping. And Larry, how much money does that tend to save? Well, for every degree that you adjust your thermostat, depending on the season, mm -hmm. you can save between 1% and 3% off of your utility bill. That's right. Your final bill will drop for each degree mm -hmm. between 1% and 3%. And that, my friend, is really, really good money. Now, we've talked about this before, actually, on the channel. We did a whole video uh, dedicated to how to drop your energy bill in the summer. And I'm going to make sure there's a link to that video in the description of this video. All right, the seventh thing. The next thing to do is to have a regular bedtime, and that's very mm -hmm. important. You know, uh, uh, health officials will tell you that the best time for you to get your rest mm -hmm. is that first 90 minutes. Did you know that? Yeah. There, uh, studies show that your, your, your body heals, it replenishes itself, it rebuilds itself physically, mentally, and they think even spiritually in yes. that first 90 minutes. 90 minutes. Isn't that awesome? So a regular bedtime, your body works best on rhythms. And I like to kind of maintain a regular bedtime and a regular wake time. You certainly function better if you keep mm -hmm. that and don't and don't swing around. It's unfortunate for people that have to work swing shifts. I feel sorry for them because they throw their body all mm -hmm. out of its natural biorhythms. Mm -hmm. But it is healthy if you can keep it. It's a good idea to do it. You'll be healthier. You'll save your your money on health if mm -hmm. if you go to bed at a regular time. All right, the next thing that frugal people tend to do is they tend to set their alarm. Yes. You know why? Because we got stuff to do in the morning. Yeah. Because we have an agenda. <laughs> we have our schedule all set up. Frugal people like to know exactly what is going to be happening throughout their day and when that day is going to start and when that day is going to end. And so we tend to set an alarm. You know, I use a wind-up alarm clock and it's it's an old big ben it's actually designed <laughs> after the old uh, 1905 big bends it's a it's a reproduction of one of those but it's identical and boy there is nothing that you can you cannot sleep through that alarm but that is the last thing i do before i go to bed i wind that up make sure it's set make sure it's turned on and then i sleep better knowing that is going to wake me up i also have a watch that i set that is a backup just in case uh, you sleep better knowing you are definitely going to wake up on time and not be late for work. Because, you know, we just talked about this last week. Larry likes to have a backup of pretty much <laughs> yes. everything in his life, including alarm clocks. Yeah. But, yeah, I mean, I think it's a valid point that he makes certain that, that the alarm is set, there's a double alarm set, because he does not want to sleep through it. And trust me, that big Ben alarm clock, really loud. Ain't nobody <laughs> going to sleep through that alarm clock. No. Won't happen. Uh -oh, no, 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 not at all. We tend to go through the house and turn off all the lights before we go to bed because we're frugal, right? And this is another thing that we just talked about recently in a video, the fact that um, that turning off lights really does make a difference. In fact, we just did a whole series of three videos. I'll make sure that the series of videos, small changes that result 
in small amounts of money that over a long period of time will result in large amounts of money being saved. And I will link that three-part series in case you missed any of it. We talked about turning off lights and how much money that's gonna save you. By the way, five light bulbs left on five hours a day. Even we're talking the new LED light bulbs, $90 over the course of a year, guys. That's how much it, it adds up. You wanna know some of the other small changes you can make then Make sure you watch the video. That three-part series is gonna be listed in the description of this video. But uh, frugal people overall have an awareness that every penny counts. Yeah, and then the, another thing about turning off the lights is once mm -hmm. again, it, it just kind of goes along with your, your natural biorhythms. Your mm -hmm. body naturally will wanna sleep when it's dark. The room's dark, you'll, you'll wanna sleep. I admit to kind of leaving a, a, a little night light on though. I don't like to get up and run into chairs if I have to get up in the middle of the night or run into furniture. Uh, but still, it's a good idea to shut off anything that's unnecessary you don't, you don't need on. Anybody have blackout curtains? I think we've talked about this before on the channel. Several of you have yeah, said that you love blackout curtains yeah. because that really shuts out all the light. And really, they've shown that like your eyes, even when you're sleeping, will try to track that light somehow. So mm -hmm. having all the lights off actually is super helpful. Not only does it help your sleep, but it helps your pocketbook because you're saving some money. And this next point goes along with this. And we've mentioned this too before, mm -hmm. but it falls right in line with habits that you want to do before going to bed. Unplug any devices that are using vampire power. So yeah. that would be any of your phone chargers, yeah. uh, any any of those uh, those transformers that you plug right. into the wall that that transform your line voltage to a battery charging voltage. They're going to draw mm -hmm. some power when they're plugged in. So make sure those are all unplugged. All your devices are charged up before you go to bed, and you won't need to be using unnecessary electricity. And speaking of ways to save money around the house, if you want to know some great ways that you can save money in each room of your home, we have a free resource and it is the home energy checkoff list and that will be available. There's a link to request it. It's absolutely free. There's a link in the description of this video. So those are the things that we think frugal people do before they mm -hmm. hit the hay every <laughs> single night and how those things help them to save money. What do you do? Do you have some bedtime rituals that you're feeling like, this really helps me save some money and they didn't mention it. So make sure you talk to us in the comment section of the video. If you found it helpful, give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to Under the Median, well... Subscribe and <laughs> make sure you hit that notification bell. Oh, there it goes. And make sure that you get notified when our next video comes out. All right, we'll see you in a couple of days for the next edition of Under the Median, guys.